you know what a 50H hearing is in the state of New York when you bring a claim against a municipal hospital? You don't? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me and I'll share with you the answer. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. First, when you bring a claim against a municipal hospital in the state of New York, specifically, and I'm talking about the municipal hospitals in the greater metropolitan area, such as Jacoby Hospital, Elmhurst Hospital, Bellevue Hospital, North Central Bronx Hospital, Queens General Hospital, and there are various other municipal hospitals in the state of New York. What happens is that there is a specific procedure that before you can ever file a lawsuit against any one of these hospitals, we are required to file a claim first. Now that claim must be filed within a specific period of time. And as of today, October 2nd, 2012, you have only 90 days from the date of the wrongdoing in which to file that claim against the municipality. Now in New York, the municipality, you would not file it against the city of New York. In fact, there is a separate corporation that is responsible for the ownership and control of these municipal hospitals. That corporation is known as the New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation. So that notice of claim must be properly and timely filed on the New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation. So now what's this thing about a 50-H hearing? Well, a 50-H hearing, by the way, 50-H refers to the section of law that provides for these particular procedures about what happens when you file a claim with a municipal hospital. Once the claim is filed, the municipality now has an opportunity to go ahead and investigate your claim. And one of the ways they do that is by having a hearing where they have an opportunity to question you about what exactly happened, what's your claim about, and what injuries did you suffer as a result of whatever was done wrong to you. Now, that is done under oath, and that's done in the lawyer's office, in the defense lawyer's office. I will be with you at that point, and I will also prepare you before you actually go to this hearing. This has to be done first before you are ever permitted to file a lawsuit. Once that hearing is finished, New York City Health and Hospitals has 30 days within which to make a determination about whether or not to settle your particular matter. If they choose not to settle it at that point, and only at that point, are you then permitted to go ahead and file a lawsuit against New York City Health and Hospitals Corporation. So even though you receive treatment at any one of the municipal hospitals in the New York City uh, area, you cannot sue the hospital directly. You have to sue NYCHHC. So why do I share this information with you? I share it with you because chances are you probably have questions or concerns about your own treatment that occurred in one of the municipal hospitals in the greater metropolitan area here in the city of New York. And if you do and you have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I answer legal questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.